Let's do a quick unboxing of the Galaxy Buds Live. Pieces of tape that Samsung always puts here. Remember, don't cut towards yourself like I'm doing right now, but I'm just kind of like winging this right now. Cue montage music. Like that. Open it up. Cut myself. Buds Live right here. Open it up. Nice glossy case, similar to the Buds Pro. However, Buds Pro is matte. These are glossy. Here's what they look like, the kidney beans. And as always, we get our standard other tips and a USB type C charger to actually charge the buds. And there you go. That is an unboxing of the Galaxy Buds Live. So these are two kidney beans. Just kidding, these are the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live, Samsung's most exotic wireless earbuds. Should you pick these up in 2022? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys like all mobile tech related content, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you guys get notified exactly when I upload. Now let's hop into the full review of the Galaxy Buds Live in 2022. So the Buds Live came out in August of 2020 and they kind of like shocked the whole tech world with their unique exotic design with a lack of a silicone tip like most standard wireless earbuds. They were also Samsung's first iteration of active noise cancellation in their wireless earbuds since these don't have any passive noise isolation. So the case on the Galaxy Buds Live is like standard case similar to the Buds 2 as well as the Buds Pro. It's kind of like the circular square design that features USB Type-C for charging, as well as wireless charging on the back, which can be also charged through your Galaxy device using reverse wireless charging. Only five minutes of actually charging the case can lead to up to an hour of actual audio listening playtime. In terms of battery life, the Buds Live can get a, up to a total of around 20 hours of listening playtime, seven and a half hours just on the Buds Live themselves without the case before they actually die, actually die and have to be recharged in the case, but around 28 hours-ish of total listening time, including the case. In terms of design, these come in a variety of different colors, including black, white, bronze, blue, and I'm missing one. Oh, and also red. So these feature 12 millimeter speakers on the inside and also tiny air vents, which apparently can reduce occlusion of spacious audio, whatever that means, but they say it on Samsung's website. So I thought I'd include it in this video. So they also include a bass duct for better low end frequency as well. So these buds actually don't really sit in your ear like standard silicone tip earbuds. They actually sit like on the surface of your ear and are held into place using this flap of cartilage right there. So this design basically allows you to sort of like hear your surroundings while you're listening to your audio. On the contrary, also allows people around you to kind of hear your audio as well, similar to an open back sort of style of headphone. So these buds actually fit really nicely in my ears personally. I couldn't even tell I had them in. I listened to music for around 45 minutes to an hour, had no ear irritation at all. They were super comfortable and also lightweight. So the one standout feature of these, as I mentioned earlier, was the active noise cancellation. Found on the Buds 2 and on the Buds Pro, but those are more advanced and in my opinion, it's not very good on here. So in a lousy environment, I was easily able to hear my surroundings, even with ANC turned on. It does a slight okay job at blocking out some some loud noises, but overall it doesn't block out too much and you can still sort of hear your surroundings. If you're on a loud airplane or a train or something, it's not going to be the best because it lacks that sort of passive noise isolation, so audio is able to seep into your ears more easily. Sound quality, in my opinion, was actually really solid on the Galaxy Buds Live. The biggest highlight of the Buds Live is the low end. The bass on here is insane, it's super punchy, and it's better than all other Samsung earbuds that they make at this moment, even the Buds Pro. So sometimes the highs and the mids can get a little muddied out because of the bass, but I found if you go into settings under equalizer and change it to clear, it kind of like makes the vocals a little more clear and the highs and mids a little more clear and it kind of like balances out. 
but it still maintains the overall like punchiness of the base, which I like. So I like that you can actually go into the app and tweak it because of that. So should you go out and actually purchase the Galaxy Buds Live in 2022, considering they came out in August of 2020? In my opinion, I say yes. So the great overall design, the lightweight design combined with the excellent sound quality, as well as the great low end, makes these great for casual listening purposes, such as music and podcasts. So I would say that these are probably not the best for workouts and exercise because they lack that wingtip uh, found on the original Galaxy Buds and the Galaxy Buds Plus. So they probably are more susceptible to actually falling out of your ears. And also, since there's no real passive noise isolation, you're gonna be able to hear your surroundings if you're at a loud gym. One surprising thing I noticed about these is out of all the Galaxy Buds lineup, even the Buds Pro, which is the most expensive, these have the best immersive 360 degree audio, hence the name Buds Live, which kind of makes sense. I was able, it almost was like, it was great at spatial audio, even with 360 degree audio turned off. And when it was turned on, it was even more immersive. Basically, you can kind of like hear sounds coming from all over, which is crazy considering they're not really even in your ears and they're on like the surface of your ears. But I just wanted to point that out as the spatial audio on these was superb. So I appreciate all you guys watching this full review of the Galaxy Buds Live in 2022. I'm going to leave an affiliate link down in the description below. You guys can go pick these up on Amazon for around $99, which in my opinion is a really solid price for earbuds like this, which have all these great features. Although they don't have the double tap ear feature in the beta section, which I found strange. It's actually in the standard tap section. You have to hold down the left or right earbud and that will adjust the volume. So I found that a little weird how it was missing that on the Buds Live, yet it's on like every other pair of Galaxy Buds at the moment. That aside, I think the lightweightness, the great fit in the ear, the great sound quality, the great price, I think these are a massive go and I think you guys should go pick them up. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you like this tech review, if you want more stuff like this in the future, make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video from Scott Tyler. Peace out, everyone.